before. So. Yeah, nude. Welcome back. Welcome back. My name is DJ Knight. We are here in sunny San Jose, California Ooh. at TwitchCon 2018 in the Glitch Theater. How are you guys doing? Awesome, awesome, and we hope that all of you at home are doing just as well, and thank you for tuning in and hanging with us during the showcase here at the Spotlight. For Raj Patel, how are you doing today? Sir? I'm doing well, man, how are you? Well, doing man. pretty yeah. well, thank you very fun, much for asking. Fun convention, we're having a good time, and you yeah, know, tired, but yeah. That is exactly how conventions work. You get in, yeah. you open the door, if you haven't had your coffee, 10 minutes later you're tired, and then you have a coffee, yeah. and you're only and then you're up for 24 time. hours after that. Right. Yeah. Because all of the parties. Yeah. He's excited for parties. All right. No one? People? Really? Woo! That's it. Come on, guys. Okay. Wild crowd. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Ooh. 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 There we go. You know, that, that was the answer we were hoping hey. for. Hey. So, <laughs> the spotlight is on you right now, Ross. Okay. So, how long have you been a content creator on Twitch? Uh, I'm going on uh, five years now. Um, I started in the uh, RuneScape community and uh, then eventually went into role playing and branched out and then moved into IRL and then IRL is no longer here so I guess I'm a just chatting streamer now. That's doing, in the chat uh, for IRL. Just chatting. <laughs> just chatting, dating and podcasts and yeah. all sorts of stuff so yeah. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And you have your team with you? Yeah, so yeah. I brought a couple of people on here that um, are part of my show a lot. Knut um, and uh, Jenna, um, they're, they're on very frequently. So there's a lot of people that are on frequently, but they, uh, they're on a lot. I see some of them. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know, sit right there. <laughs> yeah. Look at you, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Bring the team, have some backup in the crowd. That's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. Smart. Yeah, so... so. Tell us about the Raj Royal podcast. Okay, yeah. Um, well, uh, I love podcasts, um, but I wanted to do something a little differently. So we decided to, you know, put uh, Battle Royale is really popular in gaming, so why not do that in a podcast style format? So it's called the Raj Royale podcast, where 10 people, 10 influencers get together, 20 minute rounds. Every 20 minutes, the chat votes for their favorite person, and then that person gets to choose and eliminate one person from the podcast every 20 minutes until one person is remaining, and then that person gets a host of whoever is in the stream left at that time. So That is brand new. I did not know yeah. you could incorporate the same concept from Battle Royale into a podcast. So yeah. I imagine that was interesting to start out. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know it could happen either, um, but uh, we tried it and it was really fun and it worked. And I have a, I have a team of uh, people that, I, honestly, they gave me the idea, but um, yeah, but it was, uh, I shouldn't <laughs> you know, you take credit, credit for it, but idea. yeah. <laughs> My idea now. Yeah. But that's a smart move, <laughs> don't take credit for other people's ideas. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. when they're in the audience and they yeah, can make they're, sure they're, that people around there. them know. They're brilliant though, they, they're, they're, yeah, it, without them it's not possible, so it's really good. Another key quality of a leader. So, this is definitely an interesting thing. Are all of the people that are on the podcast live when this happens? Yeah, everybody's, everybody's tuned in via a third-party camera site, and everybody's live on camera. And uh, like this guy and Jenna, are, uh, they're usually on the podcast every time. So, yeah. And uh, I think Jenna's never won. <laughs> Jenna's <laughs> getting kicked first. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's just the meme, okay? Knut's won a couple of times because they're terrified of him, but... Um. Oh, Jay. Jay. Jay's our two-time. Yeah, Jay's in the audience. And then Slicker. She's one of yeah. Jay, where are you? Oh, no. No, no, she's... she Yikes. abandoned us. Okay. <laughs> there was an attempt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you say they're afraid of him. I can understand why. Yeah. You were a massive human being. So, how, how do you feel about uh, winning the I'm, I'm battle sure of the podcast afraid. royale? About winning? Uh -huh. No, I don't think they're afraid, but... I'm yeah. from, Euro from Norway, and we, we have a different kind of humor than the North American humor. It's a bit more edgy, and I think they like that. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the reason why. So they come there for the straight facts, like, yeah. no he, he spits it straight, and that's yeah. what everybody loves. I, yeah. I mostly say the things everyone is thinking. Yeah. So you're the savage <laughs> of what you're saying. That's, that's the nicest way of saying I'm the savage of the group, and yeah. nobody wants to agree. And he's a big softy, too, don't, you know. He's, yeah, he's a sweetie. He's a really, we, yeah, he's a really, he's a sweetheart. I never believe when somebody it's says like there's somebody's soft. a big softie. Yeah. He's kind of, it's like hard, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know. 
That's the secret defense. I am not in that. Nope. I'm going to let you handle it. Keep it family friendly, What? I am keeping it family friendly. Like, you're just... swole. <laughs> Thank you. He's swole. Frolic <laughs> is another way of saying that. So, uh, so 10 people in just chatting yeah. at the same time. Everybody's there. Yeah. You go into a game after, or does it just remain just it's, chatting? It's, um, oh, after, like, no, we stay in just chatting. Well, it was the Raj Royale podcast, but now it's the Raj Royale just chatting podcast because <laughs> obviously there's a podcast section, but uh, we like to hang out in the just chatting section. It's a better section. Yeah. So, so. Does the new squad stream feature kind of factor into this? Does the new, I'm sorry, what? Say? The squad stream feature that Twitch is going to release where you oh. can have four people streaming at the same time mm. and switch between the cams. Or is it just like you have my to, house? In, yeah, in it's got to be, it's gotta be in, in, in my house because there's a delay and it's like an internal delay, yeah. you know, just in case somebody does something inappropriate. And we link up via Skype. Yeah, which we won't, yeah. yeah. yeah and and they, then the camera would be in use and they'd have to screen capture from Skype it would and just the be camera quality would be way less. Sir, and it would just be terrible. So this is an, obviously an interesting concept. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time I've ever heard of something like this going down. How do you prepare for this kind of podcast yeah. with 10 people there ready to go down to one? How does that work? Well, um, it starts, um, it's on Thursday, so it starts on Wednesday night. Um, no, not Wednesday night, like Tuesday maybe, a couple days before. Um, we uh, try to put together a list of people and I get together with some people that help me, and we try to find divisive figures that are gonna disagree and um, fight with each other and, mm -hmm. and argue. Uh, and so we pick those personalities and uh, we reach out to them, and then we uh, create a topic list of polarizing topics that are gonna get these two polarizing people, to, types of people, to go at it. And then we'll usually try to find somebody who's like an equalizer, somebody who's kind of more balanced and nice and mm -hmm. friendly, just to kind of equalize things out, just to throw it in, uh, in there. And then, then we just kind of, the show starts and we roll the dice and whatever happens, happens. Uh, so sometimes it, it goes better than others. You know, you just don't know who the audience is going to eliminate. Right. Um, so it used to, we used to just eliminate who the, the audience voted for. Right, but the audience would vote off the content usually. Uh, so we, we, we changed it, and it's actually more entertaining to have, uh, to have it done that way. So, so you're not voting people off. You're, they're voting for the who they want to keep. Yeah, so they vote gotcha. for who they want to keep, and um, so whoever they want to keep, they'll vote for in the straw poll we put in chat. And uh, then the person who wins the keep gets to pick the bottom two who chat wanted to keep least, uh, and they pick one to remove from the podcast. That yeah. is definitely... And so, Convoluted, so I, I yeah. can see how that could get a little confusing. Well, it can cause violence. So people like Jenna, they like to meme and they like to kick her off the show. So meme. they voted and they kicked her. They, every time she'd, loot, she'd come on for five minutes and then she'd be gone. <laughs> and then, uh, so we change it and now she can last maybe two, two rounds. Two rounds no. sometimes. <laughs> I, better than first round of yeah, elimination. Yeah. So you get 10 minutes instead of five minutes. Oh, no, yeah. I get like, you know, 20. 40 minutes. Yeah. 40, yeah. It's yeah. really, it's... Yeah, she got mad the first time we did it because she had made plans with friends and she lasted a little bit, you know, longer than yeah. expected. Yeah, I wanted to get off because I knew they were going to kick me immediately, so I, like, set up plans and stuff. Yeah. And they didn't kick me. Yeah. And that's why expecting Twitch chat to work in your favor generally may not be <laughs> in your best yeah. interests. So this is definitely an intriguing concept. It sounds like the execution of it is definitely interesting. Yeah. Like getting 10 people together for one podcast two days in advance. Like, how does a start of it go? Like, I, I, I heard there was some, definitely some introduction where people were getting ready and things are a little different in that time frame. Um, like, how does the recruiting process go? Or? No, like, well, when you start the podcast, other people oh. are still preparing? Oh, yeah, I have a DJ um, that runs for about Ooh. 23 minutes, even though he's supposed to run for 15 <laughs> minutes. Um, and it gets everybody warmed up, and they, you know, they like to spam their resident sleepers and, you know, do all that kind of stuff. And then after that, um, do like a brief on-camera thing, and then it goes into the show right after that. Brief. So I like to warm it up and just ease into it, because it's hard to run it for f four hours straight right off right. the bat. And I like people to get into the chat and, and things like that. So it's like a little bit of a warm-up period. I don't know if it's necessary. I'm kind of OCD about it, so I just kind of... Well, I'd imagine if you have 10 people in one place trying to wrangle all that together would require a little bit 
of OCD, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So it definitely sounds like you're setting up a lot of interesting situations for people to be in. Right. What is each one of your favorite moments? Okay. Well, PG moments. From that sort of thing, yes. Favorite emotes? No. Like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. One of your favorite yeah. moments from favorite podcast. Favorite moments. Oh. oh um, <laughs> Yeah. Enough. When I hear the audience <laughs> say, so, oh, um, it's probably not a good idea. So I was idea. told we have to keep it PG. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I can't tell you my favorite moment. Uh, well, I'll t- just think of a PG moment. I'm <laughs> yeah. That, All right, so while well, there's a PG, PG moment. moment. Yeah. Is there any PG moments? Uh, there, <laughs> yes, are, there are some PG moments. Uh, um, I'd say um, just when uh, there's a particular girl that came on, um, I don't want to name her name, and Canute, and they went at it for like three hours straight, just bickering oh, back and yeah. forth. Oh, um, yeah. And I won't go into the content of their discussion, but <laughs> it was very entertaining and uh, really fun to watch. Uh, it started one hour before you went yeah, to yeah. The yeah. So we were in the yeah. appearance where everyone comes in before the Royale mm-hmm. and the camera up and that he grabs that and brings it onto the, st- like the stream. Right. And um, it started, I don't remember how it started, but Canute got really pissed and they started bickering really hardcore. And then I think we got on the stream and they were just like, Taraj, you missed so much. Yeah. And it, thank God it, and Greek was there and it carried on yeah. into this. And everybody was going at it beforehand. So I was getting messages saying that this room is crazy. And I was just mm-hmm. like, hold it for the wait till <laughs> the cameras come on. And they did. And it, got, it was crazy. And they, it was real. There was real tension. So mm-hmm. it, it sounds exciting. that way. Now, in that kind of situation, mm-hmm. Since you already said it's the podcast of Royale, the Raj Royale podcast, how did that remain? Was it just the chat voting to make sure that you guys kept going at it for that long? Um, oh, well, I control the rounds. Yeah. So they're 20 minute rounds, but the time constraint, it, it's content first. So if for some reason it leaks over and the clock kind of, it's kind of confusing. I just kind of run it, you know. 20 minute rounds and they're very loosely defined, mm-hmm. but it's just about what's happening at the time. And then I mean, roughly at 20 minutes, they'll, we'll vote and then somebody will get kicked off. But in this situation, it was very much like a Mills Lane moment where they were going at it and he was like, I'll allow it. Yeah, See what happens. And there was a lot of leaking into other rounds and sometimes it, sometimes it, uh, sometimes you're pushing to the end of a round. You're like, oh gosh, 30 seconds left. Come on, somebody say something, you know? Right. Um, yeah, some rounds are really hard. Like we'll have topics that don't cause any triggers in people that causes like passionate responses. Mm-hmm. And it'll just be really forced for a round. Mm-hmm. And those rounds are rough. Yeah. But as soon as you get a question that's going to draw someone's passion out, you're really usually set for the round. So it seems like you set the podcast up to have the, exactly that kind of situation. Yes. You ask a very divisive question. Are yeah. the questions different every round, or is it just continuing the discussion as you it's get a, to the It's a continuous round? discussion. Like, people th- think it's a, just a question every round, but it's just a continuous, ongoing discussion. I don't like to force a question into a round and say, all right, only going to talk about this for 20 minutes. Unless I were to have, like, a solid, solid list of really good topics that was like, bang, 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 bang which doesn't happen so often because there's like a show every day and so it's hard to prepare everything. Um, so we do the best we can with the time that we, yeah, time that we have, so. All right, so that's a lot of prep. Yeah. That's, a, that's one situation. There was two other moments. So one of you has to have figured something out that's PG. Uh, uh, well, I, was mine PG? Oh, can yeah, you, yours yeah. was censored. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> even you can censor. you censored what had happened in your favorite moment. Canute broke a chair once. <laughs> That wasn't how, on the podcast. How, no. That was on a talent show. Yeah, talent show. yeah, I was on the talent. Oh, show. We, and they so you made me break one of my chairs that I have home for hundred dollars. We can talk about the talent show if you want. We don't do it much anymore. But no, I'm just Actually, curious how you got moment. to the point where they made you break a chair. No, no, no. They, they, uh, it started out there like asked if I had something I could break, and then uh, I had the chair in the background of my camera, so they asked how much did it cost and said like, okay, we'll give you $100 for the chair if you break it on stream. And he did. <laughs> that chair I mean, I don't no doubt that the chair us. was broken. The, the chair yeah, was no. splinters after yeah. that. But he still. ripped it apart. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you yeah. ripped it apart? Yeah, he tore it to pieces. It's no longer with us. You didn't just like smash it, you tore the chair apart. Yeah. He tore it to pieces. Yeah, Look he, at this man. <laughs> Look at this man. Yeah. You think he's just breaking it apart? Yeah. No. I mean, it I think it was a smash into he the body floor sh- kind of situation <laughs> where you just, no, like, no, just no. he body I slammed it first. So he slammed it to the ground and then <laughs> and then took off the leg and it was bad. It was great. Yeah. Was and great. that is a man that you want as your friend. Yeah. Actually, I, I think I just thought of a PG moment. Okay. 
When Sushi Dragon came on for the talent show. Okay, well, that's him? a talent show moment. Is that okay? That's okay. Is that fine? Yeah. Is that okay? So he came on and he started dancing in like outer space and had people clapping for him randomly. Yeah. And ton, ton of different screens and it was just the. I, I can't bring a PG word to uh, my thought process, but <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, that's a good word. Well, very good. Amazing is a good word. <laughs> they reach deep in the book. I, that, I don't think that actually. Um, <laughs> Circumference is what I, what I want it to mean, but you know, it's, <laughs> it was great. Nice job. I'm not gonna comment on that. <laughs> I, I, I feel like that magic is in that comment alone. I'm gonna leave it be. It was be. so great. Well, so we did, we used to do a talent show. I don't okay. know if anybody knows. Talent show, contestants come on, Canute would be a judge at times, and then there'd be three other judges, and talent from the music community would come on and perform. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people uh, were able to launch off of that. Charming Joe was one of them, the yodeler uh, from Korea. Um, and there was, uh, there was several others that uh, did very well from it. So that was fun. But um, a lot of guitar singers, so we kind of put it on hold for a while. But That's fair. Yeah. yeah. So you have a podcast that's doing completely different things than I've heard of happening in other podcasts. Yeah. What are some of your favorite genres? of podcast outside of the one that you've created? Oh, favorite genres of mm -hmm. podcast. I mean, um, can you give me an example of a, I mean, other than just a, I can give you an example of a podcast that I really like. I like the Joe Rogan podcast. Is that, what's it, like a podcast genre, like just like what they're talking, oh. Okay. Exactly, the topics okay. that they're talking about um, comes the like podcast. Different dating shows. Uh, gosh, I don't really watch many podcasts. I know it's kind of weird. Um, well, if you have uh, just life, uh, on. anything about life uh, in general, things that are like current events and things that are talking about things like that. I don't really like to watch gaming podcasts, really, because I can't really jump onto it unless it was like RuneScape or something like that that I played a long time ago. So, so you don't game but, much outside of RuneScape? Not really. Well, I don't really game at all very much anymore, which is kind of weird. But uh, yeah, uh, RuneScape is what I started with, and I like to play, uh, you know, Halo and. I used to play Call of Duty and stuff like that. So. The classics? Yeah, the classics. He's a too. fake gamer. I'm a fake gamer, yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah, he's a fake gamer. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you play games at all, like I'm a big fan of the term, if you game at all, I don't care if you play Candy Crush, you're still a gamer. Yeah. There's just levels to it. Right. Like somebody who plays nothing but Candy Crush is not going to play Halo, but yeah. that still makes them a gamer, they still game. That's right. That's so right. you, you, I'm a fan of like not shutting people yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, I started on the N64 with GoldenEye and stuff like that, so I've been, I've been in gaming for a little bit, but you know, I, I'm really terrible at, at things. So. so I feel like now he's throwing out the buzz games that he knows that yeah. you all know <laughs> There's a buzzword are amazing right yeah. games. Yeah. Well played, because yeah. that's a smart move, because GoldenEye <laughs> yeah. was where a lot of people started with their first shooters. That's right. So it's a good move. Yeah. So you bring a lot of other people into your podcasts, yeah. you've done this, you've launched other people's careers. What are, you, what are some of the things that you look forward to doing in the future when it comes to your own podcast? Are you or just in general? Things? In general, yeah. Uh, I hope to do some higher production things. Um, I, I'd like to do, um, I don't want to say exactly what it is, but just some things that are out in public with the camera crew and things like that. Bring things that we do into reality because everybody's at home behind their screen. I'd like to bring people together and do things and make it real. So we do a lot of dating stuff. I'd like to make the real. I'd like to bring them together and make it real. I'd like to do uh, some hidden camera stuff. I mean, there's a lot of legality behind that, but we won't go into it. But, you know, a lot of stuff like that. So I hope, I hope to do that kind of thing. And um, I think IRL, uh, uh, there's not much of it going on. So I hope that uh, uh, we could open some things up. Well, that's absolutely awesome. Guys, thank you very much yes, for coming in to talk with me. Guys, if you are here or you're at home, we hope you're having an amazing time here at TwitchCon. And if you're at home, definitely hope you're enjoying the content that you're getting thus far. There's a lot more content. Very shortly, we're going to have the roast of Tim the Tatman. So Ooh. if you're here, <laughs> they're hyped. I know at home you're hyped. Thank you for tuning in. I'm DJ Knight. We're going to shut it down for here for now, but don't go anywhere. We're here in the Glitch Theater here at TwitchCon 2018, having a great time in San Jose, California. Don't go anywhere. See you soon.